Okay, today we're going to make some cranberry chutney. Um, this can be used as a topping for your turkey or it can be used as like a little appetizer with bread or crackers, whatever you guys have around. So the first step is to bring um, a half a cup of water, half a red onion sliced, and two tablespoons of maple syrup to a boil in a medium saucepan. You want to start on a medium high heat and then once it starts boiling you'll lower it down to medium low to have it simmer. After that comes up to a boil, we are going to add some additional ingredients. So um, one of those ingredients are Granny Smith apples. We're going to use two Granny Smith apples that we're going to peel and chop into pieces. I already did one, so I'm waiting for that to boil. I'll work on the other one. So I'm cutting these into like half inch cubes. All right, so I have two cut up Granny Smith apples. We also need some fresh ginger root, so I took some fresh ginger root, I peeled it, and I cut it into little pieces uh, prior to starting, just so you guys don't get bored. Um, and, you know, how much ginger root you want to use is up to you. I used about an inch. Alright, that's just about out of boil. Great. So now I'm going to put that on a medium to medium low temperature and let that simmer for 10 minutes and then I'll be back to add some more ingredients. Okay, great. So that's been simmering for about 10 minutes at a medium low heat. You can see it's starting to break down the onions, um, which is what we're going for. So now we're going to add some new stuff. We are going to add a half a cup of apple cider vinegar, those two apples that we cut up, mm -hmm. 
the ginger, Stir a little bit before we finish up. Now this particular recipe actually called for um, a quarter of a cup of orange peel chops tiny and mixed in. Um, I totally thought I had oranges at home and then I got home and I didn't. Um, I am going to zest some lemon in to just give it a little bit more of that citrus flavor, but you can um, do the orange peel if you like that texture and have oranges around. Of lemon zest and then we're going to add some seasoning. Now the seasoning we're going to do a dash of sea salt, a dash of mace, and a dash of curry powder. Um, for those of you who don't know, I'll come back to that. a dash is actually a sixteenth of um, a teaspoon. So a lot of times people will just do a pinch and that's actually not enough. So you want to try and get an eighth of a teaspoon and give half of that. You can weigh it out if you want. Um, <clears throat> but a lot of times people will just do a pinch and that's way less than you actually need. So we're going to do, this is new too, everything's new. Um, we're going to do a dash or a sixteenth of a teaspoon of the mace, a sixteenth of a teaspoon of curry powder, and a sixteenth of a teaspoon of sea salt. Then we're going to stir it all together. And now this is going to simmer for 20 to 25 minutes at a medium low heat before we add our last set of ingredients. This will give it time to let the onions continue to break down, the ginger and the apples break down and get that nice flavorful chutney that we're looking for. So, I'll see you guys in 20 to 25 minutes. Okay, so we've now been simmering that concoction for about 20 to 25 minutes. You can see it's starting to break down nicely. So we're going to add our last set of ingredients before uh, we're all done, which is a half a cup of orange juice. a quarter of a cup of currants, and a half a cup of cranberries. So we're going to mix that all together. Mm, smells great. So now we're going to let this simmer for another 10 minutes to break down those currants and cranberries, make them a little softer. And then we will um, be all done. Let it cool and you can serve it with your turkey. Oh. Okay, and now we're almost done. Everything is starting to break down. The cranberries are nice and soft. The apples are mushy. It smells great. So we're going to take it off the burner. And you're just going to pour it in a in a container. I love mason jars um, to help it to let it cool before serving. And you got yourself some delicious homemade chutney. I hope you guys enjoy.